this text next, we're going to focus on how to force a non-terminating error to stop the execution of a script. Running the following command, we will see that we've generated an error and we've also found an existing file. This may seem confusing as we did in fact hit an error, however the processing of the command continued. This is how non-terminating errors are handled within PowerShell. They will continue the execution of the script. Now, if we look at the error action preference automatic variable, this will contain the default value for the error action parameter. The default value is set to continue. If we want to dictate how the error action parameter is handled, we can provide a value at the end of the error action parameter. As we do here, we have the same commandlet and we are specifying the inquire value for error action parameter. And as we can see, we are prompted with how to handle the error. We can continue with yes, halt the command which is stop, or suspend it which is to allow us to go into a debugging mode. We will continue on. And as expected, we see the error on the readme text and finding the test log below. Now let's look at forcing the error action parameter to stop the command. Here we run the same command as before, get the same results, but now if we specify the error action as stop, the command is halted and stopped and no processing is completed. This is the expected result when using the stop value with the error action parameter. So now let's take a look at how to handle these non-terminating errors. We will pipe the same two files and pass into the for each object, which will then send them into a try catch block looking for the get child item of each. If an error is received, we will stop the error and then we will create the file in the catch block. This is a graceful way to handle any errors that is, are found during our execution and we can use the catch block to control however we want those errors to be handled. Running this script you can see that the readme.txt was created and the test.log was found. That covers everything we have in this snip. Thank you for watching.